Hey! Welcome back to our channel. Thanks for joining. This is a brewing up a meal episode. If you have not seen the other episodes, they typically include two beer reviews, a meal, a recipe, and sometimes those recipes mean that we put beer in them. Today's video is not that at all. Well, it is, but it isn't. So we're not cooking a meal, we're baking a dessert. And we're not having two beers, we're having one beer. Because the beer I'm using is special. And we're using it in our dessert, as well as both drinking it. And what we're making today, let me grab this. Um, from my sister-in-law, Kaylee, and my brother, um, we got, or I got, in my stocking stuffer for Christmas from them, a beer brownie mix. Really cute packaging. I'm excited for it. They purchased this at Walmart, I believe. It's chocolate stout beer brownie mix. Um, one thing I'll say because I'm using a mix, I'm not making something homemade, I don't have a recipe for you. What I will say is most brownie mixes that you buy already packaged want you to put oil in them. This one does not. Instead of using oil, you're using a stout, which some stouts have an oily consistency and in many regards for the mixture, it's gonna replicate the same thing for the most part. So. If you don't have access to this, because I've never seen it anywhere else, and I haven't seen it since getting it as a gift, um, I will try to find a link to it down below if you turn <laughs> out good, but I don't know if it's possible. Otherwise, I would say any, like Betty Crocker or any brand, Chocolate Godiva makes a good one, box brownie mix. If you take out the oil and put in the stout, if you want to try this recipe or something similar, I would recommend that. Otherwise, if you like this, and we really like them, I may do a completely from scratch recipe beer and give it a shot stout. yes so there's more brownies in my future maybe because i love making brownies and i love doing uh, brownies from scratch brownies. what i need for today's recipe is one egg a quarter cup of stout and it doesn't rep doesn't tell you what type of stout or what style of stout so i'm using an imperial stout today and then you need eight tablespoons of butter and the oven needs to be at 350 they're going to be in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes you can always check with a toothpick but we're just going to mix and bake and drink. Enough said. Let's get into the brownie. 350? 350. Okay. So, when deciding what stout to choose, because there's so many, I wasn't sure if I wanted to try something I've never had before or if I wanted to try something with a unique flavor profile or if I was going to, you know, over speculate or think about what style is going to bake best. Or because believe it or not, my mind thought many options. If I should use a stout that I already know I love. What I ended up going with is two of the options. Something I've never tried and something with a unique flavor profile. Okay, we're having Southern Tier Samoa This. It's Blackwater Series. Um, it's an imperial stout. It's considered a dessert beer by their standards, and that's what they put on here. This one is brewed with pink Himalayan sea salt, which is delicious. Natural chocolate, coconut, and caramel flavors added. This is going to be delicious. So this one's 10% ABV. It is, and what's kind of funny is they break it down on the side, which we've had a couple of Southern Tier, more, more than a couple, and we, I really like them. Yeah. I think they do a really good job with stouts and dark beers specifically. So this one I'm pretty pretty pumped for. Um, this was actually brewed in March of 26 <clears throat> or 2018. Um, so it's it's a little it's aged, aged a little bit, um, and it was it was bottled at 12:39 p.m. Oh, it's an afternoon. Beer. It's super accurate. It says a decadent brew of roasted and bready malts with notes of toasted coconut, sweet caramel, and rich chocolate. 10% ABV. Color black. Body creamy slash heavy. Bitterness low to moderate. Oh. Food pairings as an after dinner drink with vanilla ice cream and shortbread cookies. So they don't want you to have it with Samoas for some reason, which I would do that if I had Girl Scout cookies. So really, shortbread cookies? It's kind of weird, huh? Huh. Yeah. I, and then I'm I think shocked. it's kind of funny because usually when, they, when they're going to go as far as saying a food pairing, they tend to tell you which flavors or styles of food would be best with it. They just tell you straight up, don't have it with dinner, have it after dinner. So before we put this into our brownies, we're going to try it. We're gonna put it into a snifter. A snifter? A snifter. <clears throat> Leave a quarter of a cup. Okay. There's our snifter, and I will put my little quarter cup, measuring cup. I can already smell it, it smells amazing. 
I'm pretty pumped about this. So you get the nose. The head is like actually pink. It has a pink tinge to it. It's like pink and like brown. Coconut comes right up at you. Like yeah. It comes up and just smacks you on oh, the Oh, it smells so good. It smells like melted chocolate it ice cream. It does. Chocolate, coconut. Oh my gosh. Very heavy cocoa smell with the with the coconut. Um, it smells so it's, freaking it smells good. good. It smells really good. Do you see the pink tinge that I'm talking yep. about? Yep. Oh my gosh! It's like when you're making like a raspberry or a strawberry milkshake, and then you put chocolate around the rim of the glass, and like that chocolate kind of like drips down into the shake, and then it makes this color. This is the color that I'm seeing. Oh my god! It smells I wish so I good. Had this now. Well, I, maybe I'll make one for you, but right now we're having brownies. Let's get into this. There's a hair stuck to my bottle. We what? Just, well, no, I, I have to put my hair before we start baking. Uh -huh. Anyway, <laughs> it smells so good. Enough already! Okay. Oh my gosh. This is insane. I'm not gonna even say anything, just oh my gosh. If you like Samoas, this is liquid Samoa. And if you don't like Samoas, this is sweet, chocolatey, toasted coconut. Like a chocolate dipped macaroon. Oh my god. It is so good. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. I've never had a beer that good. Uh, wow. That's going to be a 2019 best beer for the end of the wow. year recap. That's insane. I'm buying more of this. That is so good. If you don't like coconut, you will hate this oh because it is God, prevalent, it is good. dominant. It was, it's, I'm pumped for this to be in our brownies. Wow. Five out of five. I, I can't give it anything less than that. I literally love it that much. You would not guess it's 10% ABV at all. It's one of those beers that reminds me of like a bourbon barrel age where it's like sneaky. It's like wow. a sneak attack. You drink it and you're like, oh, it's not, it's not that no, it's much. Not, and then all of a sudden you're drunk. That's what happens. It's got like that coconut. The heavy, caramel like, like is car like, yeah. It's, it's so good. And then just at the finish, you get the alcohol. And the bitter. At the it's, very it's end, but it's so very good. slight bitter. Oh my God. It's, it's good. insane. So Well done. Yeah, seriously. Again. I'm glad you're glad we're sharing it. I wish we weren't. I wish we each had. That's rude. Let's eat it for the brownies. I'm glad we're talking though, because the brownies take no time at all. So. It's gonna be boring. We're oh dumping God. things together, mixing it, and throwing it in the oven. But we're here with you for it. Okay, let's get into the brownies now. It's not enough. Okay, so Dana is measuring out eight tablespoons of butter for me. They are to be, or it is to be melted. So I'm gonna take my hat off and put my hair into a bun Two. so we don't have hair in our brownies because that would be nasty. Take my brownie, my cylinder of brownie mix here from my can, because we're not using oil and you're using a beer instead, I assume that that's why the butter is gonna be more so in this. Okay, we have one egg going into it. We have farm fresh eggs here. I'm gonna choose the biggest one because we have a couple different breeds of chicken. We have one quarter cup of Samoa This by Southern Tier. Imperial stout. I'm using a nine by nine square USA pan. Which actually, you know what? Mm. I have caramel I can melt and drizzle over this. You do. But I don't have coconut and I really wish that I did. All right, honey, if you can slowly start pouring the butter in while I mix this. There's no clumps or anything funky going on here. Really good consistency though. So I think we picked a good beer. All right, go ahead and try it. What's it like? Dana put the brownies in the oven. I'm gonna start dinner. So we'll come back to you guys when the brownies are done and we've had dinner. It's gonna be a while from now, but we're gonna definitely try the brownies and give you our thoughts on them. But now it's really just who's gonna have the rest of this beer? What? Are you gonna come and what? try to get some? What? What? I had a couple of drinks while you were making brownies. So. Oh, okay. So I have a couple before you're gonna start dictating your turn. I'm counting drinks. Oh, you are, huh? How many did you have when I wasn't watching? Two. 
Okay, well, I have another one. That's going to be a big gulp, too. So I'm doing brownies for 15 minutes because I like to rotate brownies in the oven, especially because we have an electric oven, not a propane or a natural gas oven. you gotta got to do things a little bit differently. So after 15 minutes, I will turn them. I'll check it with a toothpick, and then I'll decide if I'm going to do 10 more minutes or 15 Speaking minutes. Speaking of toothpicks. I have one more sip. See you guys in a little bit for dessert. And also, I'm not sharing this. Come on. That's, all right, that's two. That's two. Come on. Get back here with that. So we have our brownies. I drizzled on top chocolate syrup and caramel. They fell apart, as you can see here, once I can get it to focus. It looks like a small mountain in front of Dana. Very, like, crispy on the outside edge. Ready? Ready. It tastes like chocolate lava cake. That's really It's like gooey and moist in the right way. Yeah. Like with some ice cream on top of this because it's still warm coming out of the oven. Amazing. It'd be incredible. Thank you for joining us for this very different episode of Burn Up a Meal. We hope that you enjoyed Burn Up a Brownie. Burn Up a, brownie. Burn up a Dessert. Cheers. Cheers. Super good. That's you want to watch more Parks and Rec? Yeah. Thanks, well.